<laughs> yes. I'm rolling. All right, three, two, one. Okay, my friends, today is a day I was pretty sure for a really long time was absolutely never going to happen because after 12 long months, AKA one year of working on my first house, today is the day I'm finally revealing it to all of you. It has been a labor of love. And let me tell you, when I started this project, I had no idea what I was getting myself into. Before I give you guys the big reveal though, let's just start at the beginning. So like I said, we have to start at the beginning with this whole home buying process and what a freaking journey that was. I also have to say like just how grateful I am that I was even able to do this. Buying a house on my own as a single young woman is something I've honestly been working towards for at least the last 10 years. And I just hope that this maybe inspires some of you guys out there watching to believe that if you really stick with the plan, you can make it happen. I'm so grateful that this is even a video that I'm able to make. So all that being said, once I decided that I was ready to dive in, ready to buy my first place, ready to stop renting, I thought like, oh, I'll just go out. I've got the money set aside. I've got a great loan set up. I'll just go out and buy a house. <laughs> That's not the way it goes. I offered not just once, not just twice, not even three times, but four times. Rejection, rejection, rejection. All these cash holes, AKA people with just like tons and tons and tons of cash would just sweep in and steal what I thought was going to be my dream home. Anyways, at this point, I have to give a major shout out to my babe tour, my babe of a realtor, Chris. You should come over here, come over here. Do you wanna see him? Okay, so I have to give a shout out to Chris because not only is he just the best boyfriend in the world, but you're also an awesome realtor and Thank you me. really helped me score this deal. Yeah, I remember I told you to like drive by this place and we were so discour just discouraged because you were like five, four offers later. I was like, just offer on it. At that point I was like, I'm just gonna like, start just, offering just on everything. Offer. And he's we're not like, gonna get it. You were like, you actually have to go like, you have to go look at the house before you offer on it. And I was like, Ugh, this is so annoying. So literally on my lunch break, I stopped by here for like seven minutes. Was like, oh, looks great. It didn't look great. <laughs> I was like, who cares? Offer on it. At this point, I have nothing left to lose. A few days later, we were hanging out at my last apartment and we got this phone call. Hi, Emerson. Chris calling you back. Oh, hey, Chris. Thank you for calling me back. We received uh, everyone's counter going over to the, um, the seller right now and we already talked and we'd be happy to have it. Um, if you and your client drop one, um, you know, uh, it accepts the property. Um, so, um, hopefully that works out well for you guys. Yeah, we saw it, we decided that you, you're the best candidate, you and your client. Oh, awesome. Great. Yeah, we had several offers. You wanted to come in with all cash offers, but we said that it's just too late. No way. Awesome. What? Oh my gosh! Dave, I can't even believe it. You like could own a condo next month. I'm scared, but excited! Okay, so do you remember when we got that phone call? Yeah, it was weird. It's almost like he was making us the offer back, kind of, and we were a little bit confused. I'm like, is he saying we got it? Did we not get it? And what that's weird cons considering you do this kind of stuff literally all the time. So it was a little weird, right? It was a little weird. I think he just really liked you though because he did have another cash offer and somehow. Well, he, he told me Amazing you. Race was his favorite show. And here is the craziest morsel about this place. Guess who used to live here before me? Omarosa. Omarosa. From The Apprentice, the one who worked for Donald Trump. But Omarosa, you fired. According to a White House official who said that Manigault was physically dragged and escorted off the campus. I kind of felt like I needed to just tear everything out and start from scratch. <laughs> Which 
is what we did. But before you start putting in new floors, you have to demo any place that you're gonna put new materials in. Guys, I had no idea what I was doing. I thought all of this would be done in like, I don't know, like two, I'm like, oh, in two months, it'll all be done. LOL, I didn't even have running water in my kitchen for six months. It was, it was insane. Doing dishes in the bathtub. Telling people who came over. Sink. My friends would come over and I'd be like, so sorry, um, after you use the restroom, you're gonna have to wash your hands in the bathtub. Like, if that doesn't teach you how to be grateful for every little thing in your life, I don't know what will. Chris and I were actually at the Peter Rabbit yep. premiere. Look what I found! It's Mari! Hi! We're so excited! Look at the carpet! Had a great time, looked at each other and we're like, you know what? I think the floors are going in in like one day. And that means like the kitchen has to be demolished. Like kitchen sink, kitchen cabinets. And we were on this whole Chip and Joanna like kick binge. We would watch them like every night. So we're like, we can do that. So demo day in like red carpet outfits because we didn't bring a change of clothes. Do you know what you're doing? I remember to flip, not really. We don't have a trash can for cabinets. <laughs> so, so we don't know. So, your dad and Wes might have to pick it up in their truck tomorrow, or okay. we have to load it into the truck. Okay. Here. Let me, let me do it. I'll let you try to uh, get get a couple of those tiles okay. off. So what do I do? I just go like this and just, then just pull. It? Or you could probably even pull. Just. Oh, but you guys do all the yeah, Keep going. Stuff. There's more. Pull. <gasps> Yay! Oh my gosh, what about all this stuff? Your guess is as good as mine. Wait, we don't really know how to do this? Kind of, not really, I mean, but. I don't know how to do it. Here, do go in this, this gap right here on the side. I think I'm appropriately dressed in my matching Toby set. It's Hannah's shoe. It wouldn't. It's a 90s zipper. It wouldn't be Jocelyn Davis without an outfit on. Yes! Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> in in a little while the entire kitchen is gone <laughs> <laughs> and that my friends was just the beginning of the most epic journey of all time I should also point out that to save money I did not hire a general contractor but I did hire this incredible crew Phil my father who's a recent retiree there was also my brother who is just super kind and helpful, but has no clue what he's doing. And then there was Chris, who- Why do I get named last? I did like everything. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you kind of did, just, actually. Phil is the man with, I can't believe he, like we hung those cabinets together. And how does he know how to do all this stuff? My dad is a man of many, many talents. But this became probably the biggest project of my life. I replaced the ceilings, the floor, painted the whole place, new baseboard, a brand new kitchen, Top to bottom. Put in fans where there were no fans. Put in light fixtures where there were no fans. Honestly, I'm getting out. like stressed out like just thinking about it. It's also absolutely laughable that I thought all of this could be completed in the course of three months. But here we are, one year later. Enough of us talking. I feel like you just have to take a look at a little glimpse of what the last 12 months have been like. All right, a good announcement, everyone. After being rejected, oh! one, two, no. three times. No. Emerson G and said, what did he say? Emerson like, if you catch. and your client want to accept this property, I'm like, uh, what do so you mean? Do we want to accept it? We already offered you and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so she's in escrow. Yay! So when I said, 
sign this? Smile. What does this mean? I'm committed you to giving you the money. A lot of money. <laughs> yeah. Okay, going into debt. Yay! <laughs> Right there. But this is good debt. It's good debt. So, day one of renovations. You will see me in this. Thanks, Judy. <laughs> Woo! Let's do this, baby. We just unloaded the whole U box. Hey, what are you doing over there? Um, just, you know, painting as you do. Um, becoming kind of professional after having been painting for a solid one minute at this point. I have literally zero experience, so what okay. I'm saying is, do you want me to come paint your house? Also, do I look cute? You look great. Do you like my hat? Whoa! Fashion. Why do you still wear it for a real house? That is so embarrassing, but like so on brand. With uh, shoulder pads that like stuck in. That you oh. Move around to different outfits. That's cool. You had like one or two pairs. The shoulder square pads. shoulders, kind of. But why aren't you? I'm just curious. What was it again? That why is it that you're not helping me paint right now? Because I don't have another painting costume. Oh no! If I had another one, I would. I think it's good. What you can also. So do. the difference between. Oh yeah. After, see. before Jocelyn. After, before. Very visually pleasing. Huh. Finishing touches. Check out the progress. Really coming together. We just finished painting the fireplace today for the first time in my adult life. I'm doing laundry in my own house. Magic. We're in the jungle, the outback. Just kidding. We're just like literally in a tunnel of plants at Rolling Greens. Honestly, could we look any weirder? These hats are so awesome. Do you see my shoes? <laughs> look at all these freaking fiddly things. Do you see all of them? thriving in this environment. I had a long conversation with a man that works here and he told me the number one thing, they need distilled water. The freaking snobbiest plant of all time. Rude. So you know that thing when you're like, oh my god, check out this place, Rolling Greens. And then several hundred dollars later, you're like, oh wait, my car's full of plants. <laughs> so we've been working on a bunch of projects. My favorite construction worker just put these in. Hold on, I'm gonna show you guys what they look like from far away. Don't they look custom? Also, this art is going away. I decided I hate it. And just like that, part two of the painting journey begins. Well, this is how now. people paint, like down on one elbow. If you're fashion. <laughs> you are. So today is the day, six months, basically, after moving in to my first place and renovating everything and redoing the kitchen, I just got home and I haven't looked yet. Apparently my kitchen is almost done and has been installed. <gasps> oh my gosh! Wow. I have a counter. Oh my gosh, and a sink. I have a sink. Wow. I'm so happy. This is insane. So I'm not gonna lie, there was a lot of near toddler moments for me when, when I was renovating this place. I remember waking up specifically one day at like 5.30 a.m. to I think go to the airport or something. I almost started crying because I had the coffee maker on a corner table. There was like trash and debris everywhere. And I kept thinking to myself like, when this is ever this is what my life is going to. to be over. But I will say this, all along the way I would stop, I would take a minute, I would like look around and I'd be like, but wait, this is like my house and I'm so grateful that I even have the opportunity. I don't even want to be cheesy. I'm just keeping it real with you. Like, I'm so glad that I got to go through some of those frustrating moments because now, oh my gosh, you guys, are you ready to show them my first house? Yeah, this place is pretty bomb. I hope you guys like you're it. You're such a good designer. Where did you get this design? Is it all Pinterest ideas? I love designing. You're such, you're such a good designer. I'm That's just an thing. enthusiast though. Thank you so much. Anyways, you guys, I think the time is finally here. Here's my first house. So 
this is a pretty tiny condo and I wanted to make it feel as big and as cozy as possible. Also, this room is kind of a strange shape and I actually have to give a huge shout out to my friends, Mr. Kate and Joey, because they came over and helped me figure out how to kind of arrange this room because you have this corner fireplace which is awesome, but obviously you also want a TV, and I always want as much space as possible. I also got amazing light fixtures and mirrors from Lamps Plus. Then coming on into the dining room, I was so excited to be able to have a bigger dining table than what I had at my last place. I have people over for dinner at least once a week. This painting too, it's so funny. I saw a painting that I really, really wanted, but it was just like way too expensive. So Chris and I were like, Let's do our own. And it actually turned out kind of cool, but like oil painting, oh my gosh, really, really hard. I found a ton of great art on Etsy, which is where I got this print. As you guys know, I'm totally obsessed with plant life. For any of you who follow me on Instagram, you know that. So I have a ton of plants bringing the outside, inside. It really helps to, it's a great way to just kind of like liven up your house very inexpensively. The biggest thing though that I did and the hugest challenge was this kitchen, which is brand new, top to bottom. All of the cabinets are prefab and I just got really beautiful hardware from Amazon to kind of make it feel a little more luxe. Chris and my dad designed this totally on their own. And then when they were done installing it, I had a custom cabinet maker come in and add a few additional touches, including this wine rack, which I mean, <laughs> coffee until cocktails. That's pretty much my lifestyle. Something else I was also super excited about was adding just like one pop of wallpaper inside of this condo. Like I said, I wanted to keep the palette really chill, but I also want it to be like kind of fun and spicy. So I added this wallpaper, we installed it ourselves. These light fixtures I'm obsessed with. These are also from Lamps Plus. I had these shelves added in. These are all custom. Some of my favorite little pieces because I love really like personalizing every single place that I live in. And then, you guys, when these got delivered, I cried. I'm not even kidding. I fully ugly cried. I also had my custom cabinet maker add that cabinet, as well as this cute little shelf that's up here. Some of my favorite cookbooks. Um, all the books in my house are either written by people that I'm friends with, that I've met, or that I wanna be friends with. So like Reese Witherspoon, if you're watching, let's be friends. I think a big turning point in this condo was when Chris and I painted this rock. It was so, so ugly. In my personal opinion, before, and just painting it this white is so, so chic. Added this mirror, like I said, from Lamps Plus, and voila, it's awesome. Another really big touch that was super inexpensive are these floating shelves. And getting custom shelves would have been super expensive. These were like, so well priced from Amazon. And then I just added a bunch of stuff that's super meaningful to me, a picture of my grandma's legs right here. We have another picture of my grandparents on the top shelf. Again, some of my favorite books, Michelle Obama. If you wanna be friends, I'm available. So those of you guys who saw my last apartment, which Mr. Kate and Joey did, you'll know that I lived in a studio and I had a Murphy bed. So when I moved into this place, I had literally no furniture. All of the furniture you see in this room is from Walmart or Target. The bed is from Walmart and the nightstands and the dresser are both from Target, so well-priced. The mattress is from Lull, so comfortable. And then all the little accents you see are like, Home Goods, Ross, TJ Maxx. Also have this chair, which is always a fun little touch to have in a bedroom if you wanna just like have a place to put on your shoes or snuggle up. But now I'm gonna take you guys into the bathroom. So when I moved in here, there was a vanity in the bathroom, but it was really, really tiny. I went out and bought this one at Lowe's, which is a really beautiful Carrera marble. Actually, as you'll notice throughout my whole house, you'll see a lot of really awesome like gold slash brass touches. I bought all of these myself on Amazon for the most part and out of them. So this was actually originally silver, all of these drawer handles, and I switched these out. These are the exact same ones that are in the kitchen. So I had some leftover wallpaper from the kitchen. I framed it and have a little cute diptych here happening in the bathroom. Switched out the hardware here as well. This was from my last apartment. Just wanted to make this feel like you're at a spa of some sort. The light fixtures, again, and the mirror are both from Lamps Plus, and I'm totally obsessed with them. Well, you guys, that does it 
time for your first look at my first house. And honestly, I never thought this was gonna happen and I'm still shocked that it did. It only took 12 months, wow. Anyways, I'm so grateful to all of you for supporting me on this journey. I would not be here without you. Thank you so much to everyone who actually put in the blood, sweat, and tears to make this home a reality for me. And you guys, this is just the beginning. Let me know what else you would like to see from the inside of my first house. I'm so excited to see where exactly this is gonna go, but guess what? I have more videos, so click somewhere right over here to see another video. And please be sure to subscribe now. I'm gonna go sleep for 10 years. Bye.